Hello my darlings and welcome back to the channel. I'm sorry it's been a while but the past couple of weeks have been very busy for me. I've had lots going on. I've had stuff at home going on. I've had stuff overseas going on. All very exciting and it's all done now so I can sit down and get back to filming content for you guys. I'm going to be finishing off my primary and beyond series today. The last look that I've got to do is green. I may extend the looks in the future, I might do some rainbow looks, might do some monochromatic looks, sepia looks, some of those are written down and planned but for the time being this is where I'm going to call the end of the series for now. <laughs> I've got my face chart down here, I've got my wig back there, I've got my eyeshadows, my magic flash palette, some lipsticks I haven't used in a while. So I'm going to cover my brows and get into my bra and my wig cap and I'll be right back. Right, okay, now that my brows are set down, I'm going to cover them with the normal 1W Krylon TV paint stick. Just going to brush this powder off. Because we don't want that excess. There we go. Just swipe that over the brows, get rid of them, and go back to our beautiful egg status. I'm trying out a new filming setup at the moment. Well, not trying, I've converted to a new filming setup where the lights are in different positions, the cameras move, the background is different. So let me know what it looks like, if it's good enough. If it isn't, I will try and improve it, but for the time being, it looks pretty solid on my viewfinder, which is lovely. I'm going to get back to you when I've blended this all out because you don't need to be sitting here waiting for me. See you in a tick. Okay, now that they're properly covered and I've got this kind of white visor on, I'm going to be covering my lids in the MAC Painterly Paint Pot on the Bedellium Tools 937 brush just so that we've got a nice even base for the creams and the shadows to adhere to. We don't want any slip ups on this look. The brow cover didn't go exactly to plan, but you can't always win with brow cover. It's been a while since I've jumped on here and done something like this, so you make do with what you got, unfortunately. Right, now that the painterly paint pot is down on my lids so that we've got something for the shadows to adhere to, I'm going to be taking the Real Techniques Detailer Brush, this cute little orange brush here, and I'm going to go into the 12 color Eye Magic Flash Palette. I'm going to take the green and I'm going to draw out a very exaggerated cat eye liner. Then when that's done, I'm going to outline it with a little bit of Midori here by Sugar Pill on a Real Techniques flat liner brush, this tiny little one here. And then once I've done that, I'll come back to you and we can do some more detailing work. Okay, now that I've done that on one eye, it's come out really well actually. I'm going to be taking the MAC 239S brush, this little flat packing brush, and I'm going to go into Sugar Pill's Acid Berry up here. I'm just going to pop it on top of the green cream that I've laid down just to give it an extra pop. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. Then I'm going to take the Real Techniques Smudge Brush here and I'm just going to grab a little bit of Midori again and just run that along the lower lash line. Just connecting this line here to the lower lash line, giving it a nice cohesive moment. Now that that's laid down and it looks
stunning. I'm really into that. I'm going to be grabbing the NYX 17 brush. I'll pop it in the middle of my forehead so you can actually see it. There's a bit of contrast. And I'm going to be taking the shadow Poison Ivy by Makeup Addiction Cosmetics. And I'm just going to run that from this outer bit here right round and down and give it a little bit of a blend. That's nice, I really like that. And because this shadow here is shiny, it doesn't take much away from the actual definition of that. Love that. Right, I'm going to grab my Bedellium Tools 762 brush. Back in the forehead it goes. And I'm going to grab the Eye Magic 12 Color Flash Palette. Pop it in the green. Pinch it off so we get a nice precise line and green all over our fingers. And I'm going to start etching out a nice little brow. Right, lovely. It's a nice brow. I'm then gonna grab my Real Techniques flat liner brush again, go back into Midori up here, and I'm going to go on the edges of this brow to really bring it out. There we go, that's nice and etched out. Then I'm gonna go back into the Bedellium 762 brush, grab a little bit of Ivy Lord up here, which is this lovely sparkly one by Makeup Addiction Cosmetics. And I'm just gonna pop in little hairs into the brow. Hopefully the camera picks up how shiny it is because it is a gorgeous shadow. See those shiny brows? Do I want to put a little bit in the middle? I think I do want to put a little bit in the middle of the lid. Oh yeah. We'll just blend that out. Yeah, I like that. Okay, now I'm going to replicate what I did on this eye, on this eye, and I shall be right back. Okay, now that I've finished both the eyes, I'm gonna do the rest of my face. I'm just gonna do the normal drag routine, and then we'll put some different greens on top of that and see how it works. So I'll be right back. Right, now that I've finished my entire face, doesn't it look lovely? Very seamless, actually. And that highlight. That's stunning. I used my normal palette for my face, which is the Kat Von D shade and light down here, the Sleek Highlighters in Summer Solstice, and the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation in... What is it? I think it's vanilla. It's warm vanilla. Wow. Um, and then I'm now going to take my little blush brush. This is a contour brush by Real Techniques, but I use it as a blush brush anyway. And I'm going to go into one of these greens. I'm gonna go into Midori. And then I'm gonna mix it with Acid Berry. You're probably looking at me like, what's he gonna do? I'm just gonna tap this on the apples of the cheeks and we're gonna get a nice little green tinge to go as a blush. Because I want everything to be cohesive. I'm mixing that in with the highlight as well, just to diffuse it a little bit. Ooh. Oh, girl. And then if anything's a bit too strong, just take your 
translucent powder brush that you've got going on here and just circular motions, pop it over the top and that will help to get rid of some of the colour that you've got going on. I'm going to pop it in just again but make sure I rub off some of the product on my arm. Let's go again. Oh yeah, I like that. It's almost reptilian, which I love. Just gonna mix it in with the contour up here. Come on, focus, there we go. It's because I have my arm in front of the camera. That's nice, I like that though. And then, because why not, we're gonna take the highlighting brush that I use, which is the Bedellium 785 brush, and I'm going to go into Ivy Lord up here by Makeup Addiction Cosmetics and just pop that over. That's stunning. Oh God. Yeah, yeah, that's lovely. Just put it a bit in the brow as well, just to pick up some of that core. I'm into it. That shadow the Ivy Lord one by Makeup Addiction Cosmetics, this one here. That's one of my new favorite shadows. Oh, it's stunning. It's stunning. It's doing exactly what I wanted it to do. Right, now we're gonna move on to lips. I am going to take a lipstick that is probably not sold anymore, actually. I think it was a holiday collection that Jeffrey did, but I still have loads of it because I really liked it at the time. It's the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Mistletoe. I'm going to pop that on the lips and then I'm probably going to take some of that Ivy Lord and I'm probably going to pop it in the middle. I'll put it on my lips because I can't talk while applying it and I'll be right back. When applying, mm. when applying a eyeshadow on top, oh look at that! When applying a eyeshadow on top of a lipstick, I just dab it on. No brush needed. Just. finger full of product oh my god I'm so into that look at that it's stunning oh my god hello oh wow 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 Ooh. Ooh. That's stunning, that's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, lastly, I'm going to take my Little Mix On Duty Lashes. I'm gonna take my Duo Adhesive, my little eye lock clips. They just make applying lashes so much easier. But firstly, I'm gonna take the Maybelline Great Lash mascara and I'm just gonna coat my lashes there we go going 
gonna apply my lashes and then I shall be right back. Okay, lashes on, just the finishing touch, which is the Makeup Revolution Hyaluronic Fix, as per usual. We did use quite a lot of powders, so that's the reason that I've put a 10 ton of this stuff on. And I think that is the finished face. I'm just going to pop on a little top. I'm gonna to pop on that wig. That wig is stunning. I can't wait to see it all together. And I'll be right back. Ooh. So this is the finished look. Look at this hair. This hair is gorgeous. It works so well with the Ivy Lord that we've got going on on the lips and on the eyebrows and on the eyes itself. It's such a stunning look. This is just a little top that I've got going on with sequins. It's got a blue-green reflex on it, but it... Oh, oh, this look. It's stunning, it really is. I was a bit scared about this wig actually, because it was so shiny, but because I've got so much shine going on on the rest of my face, it works perfectly. I'm very, very happy with how this all turned out. Okay, my darlings, I'm sorry that this video is so late on the upload. I did film it prior to this, I'd done the whole look, the same thing, I'd done my normal hair all sprayed up in green, but when I was editing it, I really, I felt like I wasn't, I wasn't happy enough in the video, so I decided to redo it all, and I'm happy I did, because a couple of days after filming it, I managed to find this gorgeous hair, absolutely stunning, and it has just elevated the look to a whole new level. The top as well, I didn't have much going on on way of green outfits. I'm, I'm gonna tell you a little story. So I went out and I was like, let's get some green outfits. So I got this one, the beautiful reflex green and blue sequin top that you can see. Then I got some like green polka dot, which was really nice. I also found this stunning. This would have worked really well with that eyeshadow, actually. It was this green kind of alligator shiny top with little shoulder cutouts. It, it's a lovely top, but with this hair, I think anything more than this white with a little bit of green would have overthrown it all and just made it a bit, a bit too much. I really enjoyed making this look I'm really happy with how it turned out and it's a fitting end to a wonderful series. If you haven't seen the rest of the episodes, I'm going to put a link to the playlist up in the cards above. I hope this whole new lighting setup, new background, new everything, you might not even notice that it's new, but it is, it's a whole new, whole new very exciting background. I haven't ripped apart my room to put this all together. It's, oh, it's a lot easier and it's going to make producing content a lot quicker and a lot easier for me. If you have not already, please subscribe to the channel. I really want to hit at least 100 by the end of the month. We're on 74, 75 at the moment, which is really good, but I'm sure we can get that extra few just to push it over 100. 100 will be the initial goal and then we're just going to keep growing and growing from there hopefully. I have got new videos coming out very soon. I'm going to be doing some more filming so if you see me in this beautiful look in future videos then you know that I'm trying to bulk record so that I don't have another issue where I disappear off to another country and have nothing prepared. And it was just a mess, but now we fixed it. 
I'm back on the bandwagon. We're going to be producing some brilliant content and I really hope you enjoy it. Please do leave a like down below. It helps out the channel so much and it shows me what you're enjoying so that I can produce more of that content for you. Leave a comment down below. What was your favorite part of the look? Have you any questions for me? Have you any future video ideas? Just pop them down in the comments. It's really fun and it's a nice way to interact with you guys. So I am going to call this a day because I just keep looking at myself in the viewfinder or in the mirror that's down here in front of me. You see, I just keep, keep getting distracted. I'm favorite, favorite, favorite product of this video is of course this one here, Ivy Lord by Makeup Addiction Cosmetics. If you can get it still online, buy 20 of them, buy 30 of them. They are stunning shadows. And as you can see, they really, really push a look to its full potential. Okay, my darlings, that's it. I'm gonna sign off now. So, I'm happy, happy to be back. Stay safe and stay tuned.